Hi everybody, and thank you so much for joining me here at Art Life. Today, I wanna to show you how to create a really cool under the sea inspired artwork, just like this one. And I'll talk you through it, how to use some really beautiful materials. I've been influenced today by a really fantastic contemporary modern artist from Melbourne. His name is JWG and he is fantastic at creating detailed kind of artworks of landscapes and under the sea. He uses shapes and pattern and line and colour really magnificently as you can see here and creates artwork that really makes you think that it's a beautiful under the sea wonderland. Now this has inspired me to create something similar, obviously not as fantastic as JWG, but it's using lines and shapes and colors in interesting ways. So if you wanna come along with me, we can be influenced by the fantastic artist and have a go at using some fun materials together. Now, today for our under the sea kind of exploratory task, I'm using some really cool materials that I want to see how they work from Zart Art. Now, firstly, these are exclusive to Zart Art. They're called color sticks. They are so cool. They're almost like paint in a mess free kind of stick form. And when you draw with it, you'll actually notice it's almost like drawing with a silky smooth kind of lipstick almost. And the colors are really vibrant. So I'm going to show you how these work so that you can see that they're really worthwhile investing in. Another material I'm going to use from Zart, which are also absolutely fantastic, is a watercolor palette, but not just any watercolor palette. They are pearl colors. That means they have sort of a metallic sort of shimmery shine. And this has inspired me to create a bit of an under the sea style artwork. So I'll leave a link for both of those below for you, as well as a discount code if you'd like to order some through this. Now you will also need some water and brushes for the watercolors and some paper to work on. Let's go. So the purpose of this task is to really just explore two new products that I've received. These pearl watercolors, which are really beautiful, and these color sticks. I wanna show you how to use them and in turn, create an artwork that is under the sea inspired. I'm just working on a piece of watercolor paper here, but I think you probably would be able to use any type of paper. I'm just gonna start by creating the sea. So I'm just gonna, use some gestured kind of sea lines. You can see that the color is really, really vibrant here. Um, and you can see they're really silky smooth and slimy and mess free. Now these wavy kind of lines are suggesting waves, obviously. I'm gonna work with different colors just to see how they interact with each other sort of blend the colors together a little bit as well if you're working with them while they wet they're wet but the main idea is just to suggest some water I want my darkest area to be down the bottom here so I'm actually going to add some black you can see that the colors mix together and it's created a more of a dark blue down here For this particular task, I do want to keep some of the white visible of my paper. Um, that's just a personal kind of preference. I like that sort of sketchy look, but that is completely up to you. If you like a look at these materials, they are exclusive to Zart, so please check out the link in my bio um, to grab a discounted price for those. These are fantastic for um, beginning artists as well, if you're not too confident but you do just love the idea of drawing or painting. It's kind of a combination of the two. And it's, they're just fun to play with, to be honest. I'm actually just enjoying the silkiness of the texture. Now this is where I'm excited. I'm now gonna add some white over the top and you can see what happens. The colors 
sort of mix a little bit, you can see that this kind of white creates a really beautiful watery kind of texture. If you're working with the colours while they're wet, they will mix, if you can see that there. These ones have dried, which is why the colours have stayed separate. But we are essentially just creating a background at the moment, so there's no real rules. As I said, I am doing an under the sea kind of scene, so that's why I'm sticking to these blue tones. But if you were not wanting to do under the sea, you'd obviously um, use this array of colors, which are just so lovely. All right. I could honestly play with these all day, um, but I won't. Let's move on to using these pearlescent kind of watercolors. Now, as you can see, I had a bit of a play with these two materials and the pearlescent is just so beautifully and beautiful and shimmery over the top of um, the darker colors. But in saying that, you could just use them on a white piece of paper as well. They've just got that really nice metallic finish to them. The first thing I'm working on now is using this beautiful pearly white just to create some shimmery textures, just to suggest that beautiful shimmer that water gets when the sun hits it. So now that I've added that pearly kind of shine, I've also added a bit of a layer of the bronze there, I'm just going to now add some very fine details. You can see I'm doing some little intricate little spots. Applying this pearl paint quite, quite thickly, I'm just suggesting little creatures, maybe little bits of coral in this seascape. It's an abstract sort of interpretation is what I'm wanting to do today. Um, you might choose to do something a little bit more realistic, but I'm really just wanting to apply this pearl paint in a in a thick sort of manner and play with some lines and colors to create this abstract kind of scheme. So whenever I'm drawing a detail and considering something you might see under the sea, for example, I'm just doing little lines here. I think they're sort of suggesting schools of fish. I'm doing some sections that just have little details like coral. I'm doing some lines that kind of look like the movement of the ocean. And when you put it all together, it all just suggests a really beautiful ecosystem under the sea. So everyone, what you might notice is that I'm just adding details as I go. I'm using different lines, different shapes, building them on top of each other. Anything that doesn't work, I'm sort of going back in and maybe going over it with another color or adding another detail. And I've really just enjoyed exploring these materials. 
these pearlescent colors are fabulous and extremely therapeutic um, because of the shimmer and the shine that you can create, especially when applied thickly. And I think it really lends itself to sort of an under the sea sort of artwork, but I'd love to see if you've adapted this task or if you're gonna use these really awesome pearlescent watercolor paints in a different way, please make sure that you tag me at Art Life Art Lessons on Facebook or at artlife.melb in Instagram so I can see what you're doing at home. That would be so awesome. All right, I think that's probably enough. So it's as simple as that. I really hope you've enjoyed learning about JWG the artist today and also taking inspiration from his work to create your very own. Please make sure that you tag me at Art Life Art Lessons on Facebook or at artlife.melb on Instagram because I'd love to see if you've used this task in a classroom or at home. Thanks again for joining me. Have an awesome day.